G'day Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. If you haven't heard it already, go and listen to the new Metallica song, Lux Eterna. Kind of sounds like their early 80s output, just with updated, massive sounding production on there. I really liked it. A lot of people that I've spoken to really like it as well. And if you haven't heard it yet, go and do yourself a favor. One thing that made me really happy when I was listening to the song, it kind of got up to the guitar solo and I was thinking, I hope Kirk pulls out that classic Kirk lick that most people just think of as the classic Metallica early thrash lick, this. So for today's installment of 5 Minute Licks, we're going to break that lick down and I'll give you a few little ideas of how to approach it if you're new to it and maybe a few little variations if you're familiar with it. Let's go. There is a beautiful simplicity in this lick and it really does remind me of the things that made me fall in love with thrash metal in the first place where it wasn't necessarily this exercise in trying to play the most technical music, it was an exercise in intensity. And a lot of the time there's overlap in there, you know, playing a three note per string scale run really, really fast can sound pretty intense, but sometimes just hacking away with a bunch of tremolo picking down the blues scale can be pretty effective as well, whether it's early Metallica like Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, or the stuff with Dave Mustaine that they wrote earlier, or Dave solos and all the Megadeth stuff as well. Uh, kind of utilizing this extended pentatonic shape with some tremolo picking. Just a great way to sound like you know how to play thrash lead guitar. So we'll start with this first set of notes. We're in E minor here, or is it in A? I don't know, you could just kind of use either one of them, but we're gonna play the notes A, G, and E. So fret 17, 15, and 12. I would encourage you to start off by just playing those notes in sequence, whether you use pull-offs or whether you use alternate picking, something like this. So far, so good. What we want to do next is add some tremolo picking to this. The way I would approach building this up would be doing what we just did there, so you're kind of getting the left hand part of it, and then simply playing each note as much as you like with tremolo picking, this kind of idea. And there is this element of kind of disassociating the left hand and the right hand. It almost feels to me like you want to build up the kind of anticipation by tremolo picking this high note and then just kind of letting go of your left hand and continuing to tremolo pick, but think about doing a pull off. And if you slow down that particular solo, I mean, you can hear that it's not exactly the same thing every time. And people kind of bag on Kirk for this, but I think it's what gives it its character. It's almost impossible to replicate it twice. So we're thinking of tremolo picking really intensely on that highest note, the A, and then just think about the beat you want to land on when you release that. And overall, we get this. The fun thing about this is it's kind of open to interpretation. Do you want to swing it? Do you want to rush it? Do whatever sounds best for the context of the lead that you're playing. The next little section on there, I think, just fits so nicely together with it. I would classify it as a Dorian blues scale because we're using notes from E Dorian and E blues, but another way you can think about it is playing fret 15, 14, and 12 on the high three strings on there. I've got a few other five minute lick episodes about this particular pattern, but if you haven't seen those, basically this. You could even repeat that same pattern on there and just kind of keep tremolo picking. Again, there's almost this disassociation between the two hands. It's not a traditional, you know, neoclassical style shred lick where you're really working on the left and right hand synchronization. Here, the right hand just blazes away and just tries to hit the accents and the left hand just tries to keep up. Super fun stuff, just add wah and you've got classic era Metallica or Megadeth solos in there. One thing you might wanna to try to expand upon this if you do get sick of playing this lick uh, with the kind of left and right hand disassociation would be practicing a pattern where you're only assigning a distinct note to each pick stroke. So I would say maybe try this particular pattern, which I like, I've got a standalone episode of five minute licks about this. I kind of associate this sort of thing with Ingve, but if you play it with a pentatonic scale, you're gonna get this. We're gonna play the notes A, and then we'll play E, G, and then we'll play A, G, E. So this pattern.
Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoy what I'm doing here, you can support my channel in a variety of different ways, whether it's buying some of my music, signing up to my Patreon, or following one of the affiliate links in the video description. I hope you all have a great day. Go and listen to some Metallica this week, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.